everybody. It's Leah Turner, sales coach and trainer with Melinda Brody and Company. And I'm coming to you today with some exciting news. The results are in. The results of the 2018 benchmark study. Now, for those of you who are not uh, familiar with the benchmark study, what it is, is a compilation of all the video shops that we did in 2018. We take all of those scores so that we can come up with a national average. We share this average with our clients so that they know where they stand in regards to ranking with all the other builders that we've shopped. And in 2018, it was a banner year. We shopped 55 plus different national and regional builders across the country, from the Carolinas to California and all place in between. And this represents about over 1,000 salespeople that were actually shopped this year through Melinda Brody and Company. So I won't keep it a secret any longer. Let's get to the results. We judge, or we look, take a look at the benchmark study in six different categories. And these are the six categories where your salespeople are scored. So in the first category, it's prospect registration. And this is great news. 92% of all the salespeople that were shopped last year actually took the time to register their prospects. So fantastic. The second category is the builder story. Now, unfortunately, only 53% of those that were shopped last year took the time to tell the builder story. So there's absolutely some room for improvement in sharing your builder story with your prospects. Don't forget, your builder story is your brand. It's what sets you apart from everybody else that's out there. So a very important piece to our sales presentation. The third category is model demonstration. Now, no surprise here, 89% of our salespeople actually went out and showcased and showed the model to the prospects. This is where we get into our comfort zone. We love showing the models off. So 89% of you did that, fantastic job. Category number four is home site demonstration. You know, haven't you heard the old saying, you've got a site to write? Well, apparently 70% of you have because 70% actually went out and took the prospects to the home site. The fifth category, we call it asking for the sale, which is basically closing. Did you proactively suggest to your prospects to move forward with the purchase of a new home? Unfortunately, the score in this category, 48%, which is down from last year or down from 2017 when it was 52%. So that tells me that that is a training issue and we've got to get our salespeople a feeling like they've earned the right to ask for the sale. And don't forget, when we send our shoppers into your sales offices, our prospects are ready, willing, and able. So only 48% actually asked for the purchase of a new home. And the sixth category is follow-up. And this is really kind of scary to me. Only 48% of those sales associates that were video shopped actually followed up with their prospects. So basically this tells me we've done some really great advancements in some of the areas, but we've still got room to improve on. Basically, the builder story, earning the right to ask for the sale, and follow up. And what I'm gonna be doing over the course of the next couple of weeks is putting together training videos, a real brief little training video that gives you some tips on how you can get your salespeople to more proactively share the builder story with, with their prospects, to actually have some structure to their sales presentation so that they feel as though they've earned the right to ask for the close. And finally, some tips for follow up. And I always say this during training, Follow-up is probably the easiest thing to do when you're being video shopped. It's super easy. You follow up, whether it's a email, a text, or a phone call. Make sure that you follow up with your prospects because trust me, if you're not following up, the other guy is. So those are the results of our benchmark study. If you are a client of Melinda Brody's and company, you will be getting your personalized copy of the benchmark study to show how you as a builder rank against the national average. So exciting news there. And as I said, I'm going to be coming back to you in a couple of weeks with some training videos so that we can focus on those areas where we need a little bit more improvement so that next year when we do our benchmark study, we'll see outstanding results in all six areas. So thanks so much for joining me today and have a great week.